Hopefully that helps you with your first submission to WADA Games. I'm also going to do a follow-up video on VGA on how to submit to them. So if you want to see that, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Okay, so for sure, you can see here that I think he was genuine in saying that he would get around to doing a VGA video, but for whatever reason, he wasn't able to. I don't think he was trying to trick people into subscribing, but let's just go ahead and see how long ago this video was. Okay, so this was actually published April 7th, so we are a full three months now, almost four months since he said this. So honestly, if I was someone who subscribed and I was waiting for the VGA video to be published, I would probably unsubscribe. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and ignore all of that, okay? Here it is, the long-awaited VGA submission guide video. If it is your first time submitting to VGA, I promise you, in this video, I will cover everything so that your first submission to VGA goes smoothly. All I ask is that if this video helps you, you leave a like on the video as that helps me. Without wasting any more time, let's jump into the submission process. Once we get to the homepage, there's a lot of information in all of these drop-down menus that you can check out on your own time. For now, I just want you to go into Submission Center and open up the pricing and tier codes because that's what we're going to need for our submission. As we scroll down the page here, there's a large notice saying that they are backed up and they have closed off some of their tiers. What's very important to make note of is that any submission you put to VGA right now will take at least eight weeks simply for you to get your invoice. And I want to make sure you're aware of this because I know you're going to submit your items, I know they're going to show delivered, and I know you're going to get worried. Just make sure you be patient. It's all okay. They will send you the information you need eventually. So with VGA, there is no online submission process, which means we have to do things manually around here. So right here in the middle is the submission form with only the required pages. That's the one that we're going to use for this tutorial since I already know what to do. All right, so here we are on the VGA submission form. Ignore this May 2019 up here in the corner. I swear VGA cares. And what's really cool about this submission form here is you can actually type on it for your submission. So it's kind of like an online submission form. You will have to print these out though, so make sure you can find access to a printer if you don't own one already. And since I have so much faith in you guys to fill out your information correctly, we're going to skip that part and go right into the actual submission form here. Right at the top of the form here, we're going to put in a little number one. This is important if we have multiple forms so that VGA knows that this is form one, and there's also going to be a form two, a form three, etc. All right, let's begin filling out our submission. So for this example, we are going to be submitting a Super Mario Sunshine Black Label on Nintendo GameCube and the Nintendo 3DS Majora's Mask console. So starting with the game, you can see that they want you to put in a lot of information, but not a lot of this actually matters. So we're going to put in the quantity of one. The year doesn't matter. They have this in their database. Company, Nintendo, very easy. In the details title section, it's kind of a weird spot where you're not going to know what to put. In their own example, they put disc game here, so I'm just going to copy their example and put disc game. Once we get over to the name and variation section, I'm going to go ahead and put Super Mario Sunshine in there, but then I'm also going to put in brackets that this is a black label version of the game, because I do want them to put that on the label since it's important information. Moving over to fair market value, this is going to be the amount of insurance that you get on your item. So make sure here that you put in your best guess as to what you'd want to receive if the item were to get damaged. For this example, I'm just going to put the value at $1,000. Now, tier code. This is what screws up a lot of people. Remember at the beginning, I told you to open up this pricing and tier guides tab. This is why. So the first thing you're going to notice on this page is that Economy and Express are both closed. They are no longer accepting the lower tiers as they are already so backlogged that they cannot have more cheap orders coming in. They have to stop the flow of games. So all they're letting you do right now is premium and archival. And you can see here that archival says 10 to 14 day, premium says 14 to 21 days. Just expect there to be delays with both of the tiers. And that's on top of the eight week delay you're going to get for your invoice. So for this example, we're going to be using archival tier for both items since we want to get them back as quickly as possible. So now we come down here and we can see that for standard sized game, our tier code is VSA. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this tier code and I'm going to take note that it's $125. So on our submission sheet, I'm going to go ahead and copy in the tier code here. And then for the tier cost, I'm going to go ahead and put in the $125. Now we get into the part of the upgrades that we want to get. And I'll walk through each of the upgrades for you so you know what I do or do not recommend you get. So the first upgrade, we can get a grading summary corresponding to our graded item. So for the grading summary here, they will walk you through what they saw for damage and the types of errors that did dock you on when they were grading. So if you've never worked with the scale before or if you've never 
submitted to VGA, it could be good for you to get a single one of these so that you understand what they're looking for better. A lot of people do not opt to get this, especially at $25 for the upgrade, and it will not hurt your resale value if you decide to not get it. The detailed grade report is not being offered right now, and that is likely due to how backlogged they are, and this takes a lot of time to do. And the last thing here at the bottom is to have your item gently cleaned to remove dirt, debris, and sticky residue if possible. So VGA can also do sticker removal at their discretion. So if you have some stickers you want to be removed, make sure to get the light cleaning. Also, if you have not done any kind of cleaning to your games, I highly recommend you pay this $10 to get the light cleaning. Having dirt or debris or residue on your game will lower your grade overall. So going back to our submission sheet here, I am going to get the cost of cleaning for $10. I am not going to get the report. And then over here, it is the UV upgrade. So if we go back to our pricing tab, the UV upgrade is talked about over here in the far right column. And you can see that if you're submitting in archival, you already get the UV upgrade built in. So this only applies if you're choosing premium. And you can see down here that upgrading for UV costs $20. Now, personally, I usually do not get the UV upgrade because I keep almost all of my games in rooms with very little natural light. And if there is a window, I usually do block it. If you're gonna be storing your items in a room that gets a lot of natural light or a room where you cannot simply block out all of the light, I do recommend you get the UV upgrade. I also recommend you get it if you're doing a very expensive item. It is worth having that extra peace of mind. So since the archival tier, already includes the UV upgrade. I'm just going to go ahead and put an X here and our total cost for this item is going to be $135. Yes, it gets very expensive very quickly when grading video games. All right, so that's done for the Mario Sunshine submission. Now we're gonna move on to the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3DS console. So you can see here, I already put in the information of a new Nintendo 3DS, a console, and Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask Limited Edition. For fair market value, I'm just gonna put in $500. Again, make sure to get the best guess that you can on your own item. And now for the tier code, let's head back over to our pricing tab. And you can see underneath standard size game, they talk about custom sizes. So you can get custom size one if the sum of your three sides is less than 20 inches. Well, I don't have a tape measure on hand and I'm really bad at measuring things anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little life hack here. For all of my custom size items, and this includes any kind of limited editions or consoles, I always just put them in at custom size one. Once VGA goes through your items, they'll send you an email or an invoice with the corrected size anyway. So I just put custom size one. If they take it, great. Or they'll either charge me more for custom size two, custom size three, etc. And the tier cost of custom size one is $175. So keep in mind, it gets very expensive to do these custom sized items. Again, I am gonna pay for cleaning on this, but that is gonna be the only upgrade I get. So it's gonna be $185 to do the console. At the bottom of the sheet here, we're just gonna tally up our totals. So our total insured value is gonna be $1,500. The total cost of grading on this form is gonna be $320. Yes, I did use a calculator for that. And now we move into the bottom section of the form, which is very important. So make sure you don't screw up these options. On the left side of the sheet here, it says if any item on this list is refused due to restoration tampering, any kind of issue. What do you want them to do with it? Option one here says you would like them to seal it inside of an acrylic case. Ignore this option. Do not do this option. It makes no sense. Option two will let you have them return your item uncased, which is what most people do. If there's any kind of issue with your item, you want VGA to give it back to you so you can examine it yourself and see what the hell happened. Option three is actually what I always do. And this is if there's any kind of issue, they will put your item inside of a sliding bottom acrylic case. This means you'll get an acrylic case where you can take your item out and put a different item in. So essentially you get an acrylic case that you can use for any item you want. And keep in mind, there is a $5 fee for this if you're doing a standard size game. There is a $10 fee if you're doing a custom size game. But getting an acrylic case for five or 10 bucks, you really can't get them cheaper. So you might as well choose this option to get the acrylic case. Moving over to the right side of the sheet, you can get the classic style label or the clear view style label. Clear view style is what you're gonna see on 99.9% .9 of VGA cases. Almost no one gets classic style label, so I recommend you ignore it and just get clear view style. I can almost guarantee that's the one you're looking for anyway. And the last option on the right side of the sheet is that if any boxed item submitting for grading is refused because they think it's a reseal or they think it's been any, any kind of issue you have, they can open your item and grade it on their qualified scale. I do not recommend this option either. If there's any kind of resealing or issue with your item, again, you want it to be returned to you so you can see what the hell is wrong with it. You can see if maybe VGA is the one making the mistake. You don't want them to potentially open a factory sealed item. So on this option here, select no. No, you do not want them to open it and grade it on the qualified scale. And that finishes the actual VGA submission portion. Now we move into the nitty gritty details here of your shipping information. 
So again here, total insurance value is just gonna be our total fair market value of the items we listed above. Down here in this section, if you have a FedEx or UPS account, make sure to put your information in. Moving over to the right-hand column of the sheet here, all your owed from submission list number one, $320. Since we only have submission list once, you can ignore the other options. Again, total grading fees due, $320. Nothing hard here. Now, if you are in the US, you will have to go back to the main screen here, go into submission center, and open up return shipping rates. And this table here is gonna show you how to calculate your return shipping costs. If you are international and that does include Canada, just leave these next sections blank and down here put in $320. VGA will calculate your return shipping and send you an invoice or charge your credit card later. So assuming we're a US customer here, we're doing shipping level one for standard size video games and custom one sizes. We are sending two items, so it's $970 each. If we wanna do priority, it's $1380 each. So let's just say we're gonna do cheap shipping here at 970 each. Let's just put that into the calculator. And that puts us at $19.40. So our total due here is $19.40. Now our total due return insurance. You can see here for our insured value, we put $1,500. So let's return back to the insurance rates here. And if we go down, it's $5 plus $1 each for each additional $100 of insurance. Plus we're gonna to have to pay the 450 for signature confirmation because we are over $500 of insurance value. So at the base cost of five bucks plus an additional dollar for each. We need another thousand dollars on top of that. It's going to be fifteen dollars of insurance plus four fifty for our signature confirmation. So another nineteen dollars and fifty cents. So right here we put in our fifteen dollars for insurance, and then right here we're going to put in our four fifty for signature confirmation, which gives us a grand total of three hundred and fifty eight dollars and ninety cents. Again, if you're international, just ignore this whole section. They will invoice you later. And now we just come down to the payment method. You can either use Visa, or if you put your email in this line here, you can enter in your PayPal address. If you use PayPal, once they have your items received and once they go through it, they will send you an invoice on PayPal that you will then pay. As we scroll down the sheet, you will see all of their terms and conditions that you have to agree to if you want to use VGA. I recommend that you do at least skim them over so you understand what kind of liabilities you do and do not have. Once you print these off, do remember that you have to put in your signature, your printed name, and your date. You cannot edit this section on the computer. You also cannot edit this section right here on the computer. Coming down to the very bottom of the sheet, special instructions is where you're going to put stuff such as please remove the sticker on the Mario Sunshine or make sure to include this special variation of the Nintendo 3DS. If you're submitting something weird, niche, or obscure, make sure to put a little bit more information about the item to either let them help with authentication or the variation of the item. If you know more than VGA about the item, make sure to help them out and let them know more about it too. Since we're submitting normal things here, I'm only going to put the instructions about the sticker. I'm not going to include any other special instructions. And once this is done, you can finally print off these sheets and make sure to print off two copies of these forms. You want one set of these instructions that you're going to put inside the package with your items. And the other set of the forms is going to stay with you in your possession. The last thing you want to happen is for there to be an issue with VGA where you don't have a record of what you submitted. Make sure you print off a second copy Make sure you keep it in your possession at all times until your order is fully finished. And that does it really. Now you're at the point where you're ready to package up your games and submit them to VGA. Back on the website, if you click on the contact us form, you will see the shipping address there that you're going to send it to. Packaging up the games, I do recommend you at least use those $1 box protectors as they do provide a lot of protection for your games. If you're submitting something with custom sizing that doesn't fit inside of a box protector, I do recommend you use bubble wrap as well as double boxing the item. So you're gonna take the item, wrap it in bubble wrap, put it inside of a box, seal that box up, and then put that box inside of another larger box. I recommend this for anything you're submitting. Make sure to use multiple boxes in your packaging to ensure it gets to VGA in the condition that you sent it in. Make sure to include your sheets at the very top of the box when you close up your submission. And if you're shipping internationally, you may also want to include a sheet of paper for customs that says something along the lines of, these items are of a collectible nature and being sent to VGA for preservation and authentication. Any tampering or opening of the items will severely affect the condition. If there's any issues, please contact this number or please do not open the items inside. There's no guarantee guarantee this will help you or stop customs from opening your items, but at least it gives you a bit of a better chance if customs does decide to choose your box for inspection. It's always a risk when you send international, so just keep that in mind. If the video helped you, make sure to leave a like on it. And if you like the content, make sure to check out my channel. I cover everything to do with sealed and graded video games. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. See you guys next time.